Hi guys, hi Manu. I'm Bhavna Rajpal and we make a lot of videos for this channel in Sindhi language. But I thought today's video we will make it in English language just you know to change things up a little bit and to see if the video reaches a wider audience. Recently I've been seeing the numbers and the views have been very very less and it takes a lot of effort, lot of energy behind producing each video. So I would like to request you to please subscribe to this channel if you would like to know anything and everything about Sindhi culture and language. And today's video is a dedication to Hemu Kalani. So today is 21st of Jan 2022. 79 years ago from today, Hemu Kalani was hanged to death. Now, who was Hemu Kalani? Where was he born? Why was he hanged to death? These are a few things I thought I'll introduce to you in this short video on Hemu Kalani. For this video, I have referred to this pamphlet which was written by Kanahiya Nagpal, um, which was published jointly on 21st January 1996 on the occasion of 52nd Martyrdom Day, Sindhi Youth Day, by Amar Shahid Hemu Kalani Yadgar Mandal, Akhil Bharat Sindhi Boliya Sahit Sabha, in Chembur Colony, Bombay. This pamphlet was sent to me by Dada Sahib Bijani, uh, the director of the Indian Institute of Sindhology. During the 1947 partition of India, a lot of people participated in the freedom struggle. Thousands of people, both men and women, young and old, under the fervor of patriotism and nationalism, participated in all the movements for the Indian independence. A lot of atrocities were perpetrated by the British regime on the freedom fighters. Thousands suffered lati blows, imprisonment and many even bravely accepted the bullets. Amongst many those who achieved martyrdom, six of them have become very well known. Mengraj Lula, Datta Treya, Hasanand Pamnani, Harchandrai Kishandas, Alabaksh Sumro and Hemu Kalani. Amongst all these people, the martyrdom of Hemu Kalani stands out. According to Nagpal, while others achieved martyrdom for their struggle in the Indian independence, Hemu Kalani invited martyrdom willingly. Now, when and where was Hemu Kalani born? Hemu Kalani was born on the 23rd of March 1924 in Old Sakhar in Sindh. He was born in a Kalani family and his father's name was Pesumal. Yeti Pai, his mother, was a very kind-hearted and a religious woman. Let's talk about his education now. Hemu Kalani acquired his primary education at Old Sakhar and higher education at the famous Tilak High School of Sakhar. In 1942, he passed his matriculation exam with flying colors as he was a studious, hard-working and intelligent young boy. During his youth, he was imbibed with the spirit of freedom which he acquired from his uncle Sri Mangharam Kalani. Even as a child, he used to attend political meetings and participate in the processions and Prabhat ferries and would shout, Inkilav Zindabad, Bharat Mata ki jai. About his personality, Nagpal writes, He was tall and handsome, he was clean and cultured, and he was a sportsman and a cyclist. He was too nationalist at the core of his heart, and his heart always burnt with the flame of freedom. During the Quit India movement in the year 1942, Aswarat Sena was formed in Sakhar, of which Hemu Kalani was a leading member. Mind you, he was only 18 during that period. There used to be secret meetings for revolutionary deeds to free Mother India from the shackles of slavery. Now, what happened was a group of revolutionaries formed a plan to do a political uprising. This group received some secret information that a train carrying military personnel and hardware was going to proceed from Rohiri to Quetta to tackle the political uprising that was going on in the Northwest Frontier Province. In the Northwest Frontier Province, Badshah Khan had created hell for the British Empire. When he came to know about the secret information, he quickly called a meeting and they decided to remove fish plates and therefore derail the train when it would pass by from Sakhar. A spot was selected and under the leadership of Hemu Kalani, a group of three people undertook this job. However, unfortunately, the plan misfired. When the three of them were involved in removing the fish plates with their hammers and tools, 
The noise attracted the attention of the police guards who quickly pounced on them. In the fight that ensued between the police guards and the three of them, two of them managed to save their lives and escape in the darkness. But however, Hemu Kalani refused to run away and that is how he got caught. This of course led to a search in his house where they found more political literature and tools. He was mercilessly persecuted and ruthlessly tortured and they kept asking him the names of the other two people who had run away. Severe torture followed but he refused to give the identities of the two people who had managed to escape. During this time in Sindh, there was martial law in place. His case was referred to a martial law court in Hyderabad and after days of trial, the court found him guilty of treason against the British Empire. He was sentenced to life imprisonment and it is said that he embraced this severe punishment with a smile on his face and raised a cry of Bharat Mata Ki Jai and in Club Zindabad. When the whole of Sindh was sad and gloomy about Hemu Kalani undergoing this treatment as a teenager, the British rejoiced. An appeal for mercy was preferred to the martial law administrator Colonel Richardson by some of the most influential men of Sindh like Jamshed Ji Mehta, Sadhu T.L. Vaswani, Peet Zada Abdul Satar, Swami Harnamdas and others. Fortunately or unfortunately, the appeal went on deaf ears and the appeal was turned down. On the contrary and quite mercilessly, the sentence was changed to death by hanging at Sakhar Jail. On the fateful day of hanging, which was 21st of January 1943, in the presence of the medical officer, the superintendent of the jail, the jailer and the hangman, when he was asked, what is your last wish? He expressed that he should be born again in the holy land of India. Then he shouted his favourite slogans of Inkilab Zindabad and Bharat Mata Ki Jai before he was hanged to death. Thus the brave man was declared dead. However, Hemu Kalani lives on in the hearts of the men and women and the children of India for whom he sacrificed his life. His martyrdom will always be remembered with a lot of pride. World over, the lovers of freedom respect him for his courage, bravery, spirit of sacrifice and true patriotism. In the year 1945, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru paid a personal visit to his house and consoled his weeping mother. In 1983, Prime Minister Indira Gandhi released a commemorative stamp at a Sindhi Sammelan in the sweet memory of Hemu Kalani. In the year 1984, the government of Maharashtra allotted a plot of land in Chembur for building a suitable memorial for Amar Shaheed Hemu Kalani. The Sindhi community has fondly built schools, dharamshalas and housing colonies in the name of the beloved martyr and statues have been erected and roads have been named after him. However, what I find the most inspiring about this story of bravery is at the age of 19, he willingly gave up his life for the freedom of India. And I think the spirit of bravery that is seen in him can be easily compared to that of Bhagat Singh. The courage, the bravery found in him during his teen years was indeed commendable. Indeed, a youth icon, especially for the Sindhi community. I have a lot of respect for Hemo Kalani and I was very apprehensive to make this video a few years ago because I just wanted to make sure that I get all my facts right. Um, during the pandemic, I also attended an online session where a few of Hemo Kalani's uh, family members were talking about his life um, and I'm hoping to bring them in front of my camera soon so that you all can get to see and hear more about Hemu Kalani's extraordinary bravery and passion for his mother India. I hope you liked this video. Please give it a huge thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. Please click on the notification bell and let us know in the comments below what you thought of this video and any other suggestions, feedback you have for us. I am... <laughs> I'm struggling for words because I'm just so used to speaking in Sindhi for this um, channel but I just wanted to give it a shot in English so that we could reach a wider audience especially on his 79th death anniversary. Sending you lots of love. Thank you for watching the video. See you soon. Bye.